Today in Peroxide, I'm going to be giving you guys the basics of how to level and how progressing works in the game. So to start out, this only applies for Soul Reapers and Quincy's. Hollows will be their own separate video because Hollows have to go through the process of, you know, killing other Hollows before they become Minnow Scars, you know. So to begin, you're going to want to choose your faction, whether that's Soul Reaper or Quincy. And if you don't know how to do that, then check out my last video. So in the game, there's a mechanic called Potential and then like there's the regular, you know, level. So you're your max level depends on what your potential is so basically your level is capped until you increase your potential so your potential can be raised by leveling your different stats let's say you have five points in agility if you get to six agility that means that your potential rises by one so your potential is the average of all of your stats that means if you have five potential for example that means your max level or your level cap is going to be 10 if you reach your level cap without raising your potential you're gonna have to raise that potential before you're able to level up again and you don't have to wait until until you reach that level cap before you decide to raise your potential you can raise your potential at any time by increasing the different stat areas like I said before now let me show you guys where you have to go to raise your potential and level cap you got to leave the town and you got to go all the way to the outskirts to where Kisuke is an easy way to find where Kisuke is is by pressing the soul wayfinder because it shows you where the two mission boards are in KT town the mission board that's closest to Kisuke's house is literally right in front of his place so you just got to follow the one that's in the out outskirts of the town. So when you go to Kisuke, you select I want you to train me option and then you select whichever stat that you want to train and then you actually have to scrap with Kisuke. Like you, you actually have to fight him and depending on the stat, he is pretty hard. Like for me, the strength one is the hardest one for me. He, he has clapped me many times while I tried to train the strength stat. But I did notice with Kisuke that whichever stat you choose for him to train, that's going to be what he uses the most. For example, if you choose strength, he's going to be using mostly sword based attacks versus if you want to train your Ryatsu is going to be using skills that use Ryatsu. If you do end up losing to Kisuke, don't worry. All you have to do is pay the 40 in-game currency again and then you could choose whichever training you want. Another thing, if you lose to Kisuke, wait until your health regens before you pop back into the training because he will not hesitate to whoop you. Down in Hueco Mundo in a location called The Alley, there's an NPC named Ken there and he's basically a better version of Kisuke where you select which stat you want to increase and then you fight him and he actually gives way more exp than kisuke except he's way harder he also costs two times the amount that kisuke does i think to use him it costs 100 of the in-game currency the only thing is you have to be level 40 to use him another good place to level up and raise your potential is the dojo so if you come over here from kisuke's place this is going to be the dojo right here. When you come to the dojo, just talk to this NPC right here. And then you buy membership for 50 yen. You can't use your weapon when you go in there. It's going to automatically kick you out just like that. Okay, there's a hollow right here. That's nice. Anyways, when you enter the dojo, you have all these training options right here. And each one of these training stations raises a particular stat. Like this, for example, raises your vitality. You train it just like this. It's pretty self I just failed there. You train it just like this. It's pretty self-explanatory. It is a good method to raise your stats as you see right here i actually ran out of riatsu while training so each training station does take up your riatsu as you train you'll notice that after you train a particular stat you'll have some stars next to it that actually serves as kind of a stat multiplier so let's say for example if you do an invasion and you choose to raise your vitality if you have five stars on it you're gonna get a big boost in your vitality it goes for all of the stats it's the same thing so the more stars you have in it the more stats you're gonna get for doing that training another good way to level up is to actually talk to the NPC that's standing right next to the mission board that's located right in front of Kisuke's shop and there's another location inside of the town. When you talk to him and you choose a stat that you want to increase, every mission that you select on the mission board now actually increases that particular stat. For example, if I want to trade my speed, I would select speed when I talk to him and then let's say there's a mission for me to kill three hollows. After I complete that mission, it increases my speed stat. And now let's talk about limit break. So so to limit break, you actually have to max out your strength, agility, and Ryatsu stats to a certain point. And you'll know when you can because you'll have the option there. If you press M and go into your stats, you'll see that you're able to limit break. So what you have to do is basically fight any NPC to fill up that limit break bar again. And once it's filled, you have to press G and then you basically limit break and then you rank up. That's how you actually rank. If you notice in the middle, right above your health bar, when you press M, you'll notice that you're ranked. Everybody, when they start 
start off, they start off as rank F. So that's actually how you raise your rank. You limit break once, you go from rank F to rank D. Just keep in mind that people that don't have their Shikai or their Shrift are capped at rank C minus. So they can't go above that until they get their Shikai or Shrift. Arankars just skip that cap. They don't have that cap. I know limit breaking can be kind of confusing. If you have any questions about it, leave it down in the comment section below. Another decent way of leveling up is actually to buy the Soul Gourd that's located in Kisuke's shop. It's going to be to the right of him in this little room here. And basically how it works is you have to fight Hollows. It fills up the gourd and then you can go back to either Kisuke or down in Hueco Mundo, the NPC that you go to to start the invasions. You can also talk to him as well. And you can turn in the gourd for some stat points or you could also turn it in for some money or you could also turn it in to improve your reputation with the certain faction of the NPC that you're talking to. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have any questions and if you want to know how to become either a Quincy, Soul Reaper, or Hollow, then click this video right here.